Now let's do another complement related exercise. Uh, question is here taking the set of natural numbers as a universal set. So they are saying to imagine that our universal set now is the set of natural numbers. And set of natural numbers starts from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and that's, 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 that's. this is our universal set. <coughs> and write down the complements of the following sets. Now we need to write the complements of this. Let me suppose this is set A. So what is this set about? This set is about. Uh, x is an even number, natu even natural number. So x or z x is an even natural number. So even natural numbers start from two, and then four, and then six, and then eight, and so on. So what is the a complement now? So a complement will be odd numbers because we are not a complement means what? Like like if this is your, if this is your uh, universal set, and if this is set a, then uh, complement of a means except a. Uh, means we are not going to take A and every other parts. So A is not going to include and everything outside. So except A means except this uh, 2, 4, 6, except even numbers. So those are all numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and so on. Alright. Again another we have uh, let me suppose this is set B. X is an odd natural number. So odd natural numbers start from 1 and then 5 and then 7 and then 9 and so on. So again the complement of B will be what? The complement of B means we are not going to take now now uh, some scenario is something like this. If this is my B set right and this is universal set then B complement means all the parts except B. We are not going to take elements from the B and all parts right from this seted region we, we have to take the elements. So not B and all. So not B means what? That's uh, actually even numbers. We are not going to take uh, 1. So we will take Two. We're not going to take three, so we'll take four, and then five not. We need to take six. We're not going to take seven again, so we need to take eight, and so on like this. All right. Now the next one. Uh, see. So what is this set? X says that X is a positive multiple of three. Positive multiples of three. So first multiple of three is six, uh, three, and then six, and then nine, and then twelve, and then fifteen, and then rest of this. So what is C complement means C complement means except these numbers. So you write one and two, then you write four and five. You are not going to write six, right? Six is vacant, and then uh, seven and eight, not nine, right? Again, ten and eleven, not twelve, because twelve is the multiple of three, and again uh, thirteen and fourteen, again not fifteen, because fifteen is the multiple of three, again sixteen and seventeen, again not eighteen, and so on like this. All right. Now D set. Let me suppose this is it. X is a prime number. So prime number is what? Two, three, uh, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, no, seventeen, and so on. So what is D prime? Means we have to write the composite numbers. So composite numbers as well as one. One is neither composite nor prime number, but is still we have to write here because uh, D complement means. Except D, we're not going to take D and rest of these all. So one and two is also a prime number. Three is also five is also now six is not the prime number, and seven is a prime number. Eight is uh, not prime number. Nine is also not prime number. Sorry, nine is not a prime number. Uh, it's a it's a composite number because nine is the multiple of three. You know, uh, again uh, ten, all right, and again twelve because eleven is here, and fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 18, not 19, because 19 is here. It's a uh, prime number, right? So again, 20 and so on, like this. So all those numbers. And now another one we have E. So what is this set about? Let's read. Uh, X is a natural number divisible by 3 and 5. So natural number divisible by 3 and 5. Which are the natural numbers which are divisible by 3 and 5? So 3 times 5, it means 15. So 15 and the multiples of 15s are divisible by 3 also and by 5 also. Keep in mind. 15 and then 30. 30 is divisible by 5 and divisible by 3 also and 45 right like that so it is uh, divisible by 3 and 5 that is first one is 15 and then 30 and then 45 and then 60 and then just the table of uh, 15 unit right right 75 first 75 and so on so what will be the complement of this so E complement will be uh, we're not going to take these things and rest of these all so one, two, three, four, you know, test, 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 test. 14, again, 16, not going to take 15, 
and again 17, test, 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 29, and not 30, 31, and test, 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 44, right, and then 46, and test, test, like this, alright, x is a perfect square number, so perfect square numbers are uh, 1 square, that is 1, similarly 2 square, that is 4, 3 square, that is like that unit, right, right, so uh, let me suppose this is f, so perf not f complement, f first, so perfect squares are 1, and then 4, and then uh, 9, and then 16, and then 25 is a perfect square. Similarly, uh, we have 36, we have, uh, not directly 81, 49, and then 64, 81, you know, 120, uh, 10 first, 100, 121, 144, 169, 196, and so on, you know. These are what? These are perfect numbers. So what are the uh, complement of this? So f complement will be except these numbers, you know. So it will be two, three, not four. Again, five, six, seven, eight, not nine, you know. And again, ten, eleven, twelve, and so on like this. I hope you understand this. All right. All the elements except uh, uh, except these perfect squares. All right. And x is a perfect cube again. So f not uh, x is a perfect cube. So let me suppose this is uh, g. So it will be perfect if 1 cube equals to 1, 2 cube equals to 8, 3 cube equals to 27, 4 cube equals to 64, 5 cube equals to 125, and so on like this. Alright? And now what is G complement? G complement means all the elements not containing this. Alright? So uh, it is uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, not 8. Right? 8. And like this you understand. Hope you got it. You can write something like this also. G complement is x is uh, re, uh, x such that x belongs to natural number and x is equal with uh, is not equal with n cube where uh, n represents natural number. All right? Did you understand that? It is something like x is not equal to n cube and all the natural numbers and x is also natural number and n is also natural number all right so if you put means uh, you, you, you can use any n it may be you can take one cube uh, that is not two cube that is not three cube that is not and all rest of these natural numbers similarly x is a perfect square you, you can write something like this also this it's uh, f f prime is x such that x belongs from yes natural number and x is equal with is not equal with and a square and rest of the everything where n is also natural number all right similarly here what we had x is the multiple of 3 and 5 is number divisible by 4. okay so so you can write like this uh, again here uh, that was e complement right e complement is actually x so that x is belonging from natural number and x is not equals to x is not equals to 3 times 15 n right where n is from natural number is not equals to 15 and rest of is everything uh, because if you if you put um, uh, 15 times 1 it will be 15 15 times 2 in the value of n if you put 1 2 3 all natural numbers you'll get the table of 15 and not that and rest of is everything okay and what is a prime number so it's it's quite easy it's just a so you, you can also say like uh, d prime is x so that x is so that x is belonging to natural number and where x is equals to uh, is mm, not uh, a prime number is not a prime number is not a prime number that's it all the prime number except uh, all the all the uh, composite number and one except these prime numbers similarly here uh, x is a positive multiple of three so uh, C complement you can do something like this x so that x is belonging to natural number uh, and x is equal with is not equal with 3n alright where uh, simply n is belonging to uh, natural numbers that's it like this you can also represent alright uh, but this is a better way to represent uh, in this form alright if you can then you try to represent in that way I hope you got this and if there is any more problems then please feel free to comment below this video and subscribe the channel please please please